Surf and turf. I'm going to show you how we caught this stuff. First of all, the wild hog. We'll show you those clips. And then also, we're going to show you how we caught these. First of all, let me uh, pop the head off this guy. Take our handy dandy little toad fish tool here. Slide it right up the back. Out the tail. And then it's got a little blade on the inside that when you do it, Pops the shell right off and deveins it at the same time. There you go. Okay, while I get things ready, why don't we take a look at how we caught this the shrimp. Originally, I was going to make this recipe with um, sheep's head, but then I decided Ellie's not real fond of fish these days, so hence the hog. What do you see? Is there a dolphin? There he is. There he is. Do you want to go get him? Do you want to go get him? That is not a sunrise. That is a sunset. We just got out. Went to try to find some mud crabs, but the water was too deep and it's blowing like crazy on that side. So, I was able to get two and just a handful of mangrove crabs. The object is we want to catch a couple fish, possible sheep's head. Hopefully they're here. They're usually here in the winter time. But uh, we got Trent, the dolphin. Not Trent's not the dolphin. That's Trent and that's Ellie. Sorry, she's on the phone. So we're going to try to catch some sheepers and then we're hoping we came down this way to try to get by where the bridges are and see if we can get any shrimp on the outgoing tide so it's high tide right now it should be turning here shortly if it hasn't already so let's get a bait wet here see what happens trent you want to tell you what he's houdini every time you turn the camera on do you fish much trent yeah a little bit I guess we're okay. Gonna yeah. All we're gonna do, we're just gonna stick that hook right through here. It's a small hook, just like that. Go ahead, throw it right up. If you can get it right in that corner, except the cage you're gonna want to tell us what. Little guy. Well, that's what we're looking for. Hopefully there's a bigger one in there. 12 inches they got to be. What's up, buddy? There he is, T. Don't you jump in. He will. He wants to say hi to you. Come here. Come here. He's just waiting for us to drop our fish in. All right. Elle, you going to fish? Last time someone told me they were going to outfish him was my dad. That usually doesn't work well for us. Yeah. So you guys just out cruising? Yeah. Looking for girls, huh? Oh. Literally, Lane asked me every day, can you find So when are we going fishing? I don't know. Where do you want to go? They, I mean, we could take the yellow fin, but we went to go run it today and one of the motors wouldn't start. Uh oh. Brand new motors. Seriously? You guys been seeing any shrimp at night? Oh, all over. All right, that's why we're out here. Another little one, man. Ooh, ooh, he's close. That's a better one. He's close. Oh, what is that, T? T, is that your best T? Oh, he's peeing all over my dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. He's like. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. He's right all right. That's the. F oh, whoa, whoa, T, T, T. We got a big one. Is it stuck in him? It's just in his fur. 
He was pulling drag. He was pulling drag, folks. I caught a stinking golden doodle. Anyway, that's the first part of our journey. He'll keep. He's kind of small, Trent. Oh gosh, he's <laughs> perfect. No, he's kind of small. Can't be Because I don't even want to fish. <laughs> T watch it. T will eat it. Two keepers. Um, well, that's what we needed. Oh, get that one. There's like four of them, Dad. There was. There's another. I think I missed one. All right, Trent, There's let's like see what you got. Oh man, that's a big one right back there. Look at that big dude. Look at it. There's like five of them. There's a bunch of them, guys. Oh, you got him. See how their eyes glow red? Swing it this way. There's, there's like five of them. All right. So right now we're kind of caught in the current between the gulf in the uh, inlet here. All right, straighten it out, Bells. Got him. Size ones. Heck yeah. Dad, get him. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> you got him, dude. <laughs> deep, deep, deep. How many do we got in here? Quite a few. We've almost got enough for dinner. So we just pulled up here underneath the bridge. What's happening is, is they're coming out of the grass flats and they're going out with the tide. And it necks down in here and we're just gonna pick them off as they come by. Hey, hey, you're sleeping, two of them. Oh yeah, I see him. Get the light off him, he's gonna go down. There he is. Oh, he went yeah. under you. It's hard to maneuver this net because right it's, our dip net actually got left at uh, a friend's house. Huh, Ellie? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Look at them all, man. So we're just using our grouper net or fish net. So it, it's got heavy mesh in it. So it catches the current. It makes it real hard to get it under the water. Look at this shrimp. I've never seen one like that. That is crazy. It has like a blue tail. Like running into a wall. Wait, I can't see him, so don't you? Okay, let him come. You good? He's gonna go that way. Just be patient. I'll tell you when I can see him. I'm not gonna be able to video when it's too far away. So when you get a good headshot, I think there's another one behind it. But that's okay. Let's let's get some meat on the ground, baby.
I've been out here 20 times and I haven't shot a freaking pig yet. And this is the first day I've shot this gun. We dialed it in probably an hour and a half ago. Todd's, Todd's calling me right now. My pants are vibrating. It feels good. I'm just going to leave it here. <laughs> One nineteen, baby. How big is the one you got? Why'd you have to put lead in there? <laughs> hey, that is not a walleye. There's some window weights in his belly. This is the big eye. Yeah. The south. Look how messy the fur is. Mm-hmm. Razorback. You can see how that. Brine worked its way into the meat. Gonna use some of this roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. Wrap them up in this hickory bacon. Just like so. Where you going, Mama? Stephen and Kayla's wedding. We're going to throw some pepper on the top of these. Into the oven, 425. My wife is in there trying on dresses and she's supposed to be my camera person, but evidently this whole wedding thing is more important. We didn't even really like the kid that much. We were so glad when he moved out, but I'm just kidding. We're going to start this out with some avocado oil. Get that oil warm over here. Thank you. 
Hey! What you do? <laughs> Come on, you can't do that to me! This isn't even the dress for the wedding. This is for the rest of the Come here. Let me just see. Hold on, we gotta go back in there. <laughs> when did you get that one? In the mail today. Came in the mail. Ta-da! Alright, you know what guys? Um I'm gonna turn the oven off. We'll be back in about a half hour. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'll be back in about three minutes and we'll continue this. I don't even have to turn the oven off. I got plenty of time. Three minutes exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a flash. Whew. All right, let's get back to this. Whew. That's what you call cooking dirty. Well, I'm glad I could help you get that dress off, honey. Okay, I'm not gonna get it done without you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little sesame oil in there too. Uh oh. Time to uh, get the thermometer on it. Too much green, kid. But that's all we had in the fridge, so. Throw this lid on, help soften them suckers up a little bit. What's up, dude? What? <laughs> Smell that to my room. <laughs> well, it'll be ready in a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Get you always there. seem to find find the kitchen when there's food cooking. <laughs> yeah, you do. Let's go ahead and add our shrimp. Watch out. A little bit of water in there. I got my shield up. Sea salt in there, sesame seeds. Look at that. Oh man, who's your daddy? Not you. Sit. My daughter said, Not you. Can you breathe? Will you quit? Very crunchy. Whenever we go out, she orders like breakfast. She orders bacon. Extra burnt. Burnt. Not crispy. Burnt. Oh, it's good. I'll bet there I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. So you're saying you're not the only one with a fetish for black burnt. <laughs> Put bacon? in the comments. I'm telling you, I'm not the only one. I promise you I'm not. Look at how little those shrimp, those shrimp were huge. And then when you, you're taking pictures of the masterpiece, <laughs> and then when you saute them down, they just disappear. Jamie's a little hesitant when it comes to wild game. Not gamey at all. This is probably the first wild game wise brought home that does not taste gamey at all. Isn't that weird? Not even a little bit. Yep. I guess we're gonna see you guys in the next one because we're out of here.